Hello, everyone. Whoa, look at that. That isn't just any bus. That's a double-decker bus. Look, there's a downstairs and an upstairs. I'm just waiting at a bus stop for the next bus to arrive. All you have to do to catch a bus is put your hand out like this and the bus will stop. This is Brian and he's the driver of this bus. He sits in a place called the cab. Here it comes now. Brian presses the red button and the doors fold open. This bus is special because it can move up and down to let people get on more easily. Red Mechanical, where have you been on this bus? You've been playing in the junkyard? Oh well, I hope you had fun. Come on, let's get on board. You can fit up to 75 people on this double-decker bus. I think I'm going to sit upstairs to see the lovely views. Woohoo! I can see everything up here. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Here we are back at the bus depot. I'll just press the bell to ask the driver to stop. Shall we have a closer look at the controls here in the cab? The driver can press all sorts of buttons to make things happen. This button controls the sign on the front of the bus, which tells people where the bus is going to. This is the ticket machine. And these screens are connected to cameras so the driver can see the passengers upstairs. These buses travel all over the city, so they sometimes get very dirty. Shall we put this double-decker bus through the special bus wash to give it a clean? It's time to use the water and brushes to clean our double-decker buses. Through this truck wash, our bus will crawl. Have you ever seen a bus so tall? Look at that. Clean as a whistle. Where do you think the engine is in this double-decker bus? Surprise! It's here, right at the back. And these buses are special because they run on electricity and diesel. When the bus is going slowly and picking up people from bus stops, the bus uses an electric motor. This makes it much quieter than other buses. Just be careful not to fall asleep on your way home. But even these buses need to be repaired sometimes. Instead of bringing them to Gecko's garage, they're brought here to the Arriva maintenance garage where expert mechanics can repair them. Look how many buses are being worked on at the same time. This bus is having a wheel changed. And here's another bus driving into the garage. It drives in and parks over a big hole in the floor called the pit. If there's something wrong underneath the bus, a mechanic can go down into the pit and fix anything while standing underneath. Or they can use a giant hydraulic lift to lift it up and make it even taller. When everything's fixed on the bus, it's time to leave the garage and go back out onto the road to take more passengers where they need to go. Thanks so much to Brian and all the team here at Arriva. If you'd like to join me on more real vehicle adventures, just tap here to watch more. And you can tap here to subscribe to my channel, Toddler Fun Learning. We'll see you again soon. 
拜。